What is going on, y'all? I've already know you've probably heard about it. Cardi B. <sighs> Offset. The ongoing saga with their relationship. Now, I'm judging based off of what I'm seeing from the outside looking in. I'm judging based off of what I'm seeing on social media. So, obviously, I do not have all of the key facts and details. So, at this moment, it's alleged. Right? But, I feel like and I hate to say it, but I'm just going to go on and say it. <laughs> I feel like they are your average toxic dysfunctional relationship where people who are codependent and narcissistic, people who are lacking boundaries, self-worth, self-esteem, people who they're both trapping each other with kids. I mean, let's just keep it real. A lot of people use pregnancy as a form of entrapment. It just needs to be said. Y'all don't be liking these people. Y'all don't be liking the yourselves. You don't respect the other person. You don't respect yourself. You don't love yourself. You don't love the other person. So all y'all doing is creating a bunch of children that have to grow up in dysfunction and chaos the vast majority of the time because the parents don't have their ish together. And the parents are using pregnancy to trap each other. Just needs to be said. Because my thing is this. If he was... And I'm going to say it. If he already been cheating on you this entire time. Why would you continue to get knocked up by somebody that has shown you time and time again. That he ain't about shit. That he's a liar. That he's a cheater. He's a pathological habitual liar. Why? Why continue to have kids with that person? And then on the flip side, Cardi B proves time and time again, cisgendered men can never take what they dish out. I've been saying this for years. They will sit up, lie, cheat, do all of this horrendous ish. So many times cis men have cheated on their pregnant wives, girlfriends, partners while they're pregnant cheating on them, sleeping around, doing all this dirty ish behind their back. So many times cis men have had kids, outside kids because they done cheated with somebody. Outside kids on their wives, on their girlfriends, on their partners. But when it's done to them, oh Lord, it's the end of the world. How could you do that? How could you do that to him? He's a father. Meanwhile, he's been cheating on Cardi B this entire time. So really, I don't really have any any empathy or symphony or sympathy for for Offset. I don't because my thing is you've been nothing but a glorified hoe the entire relationship. Literally, if y'all remember back in 2018 when she first got pregnant with with the first kid that them two have, he bombarded one of her performances coming up there with flower, a bouquet of flowers and begging for her to come back and begging for forgiveness. He been doing this. This is an ongoing thing. And this is what narcissistic, toxic ass people do. You know, they don't really want you, but they want control. <laughs> they want power. And when you stick around dealing with toxic, narcissistic types, eventually you're going to end up reacting and behaving in ways that are just as toxic and dysfunctional. I'm just gonna be real. This is why the minute you start seeing these red flags, you need to get on out. Get out while you're ahead. At the end, he done already cheated on you numerous times before. Why would you get married to somebody that's a cheater? That's what I mean by a lot of y'all don't be thinking. And also, I'm gonna say this, Women, y'all need to stop thinking with your pussy too, okay? 
because the because the the stereotype has always been on cis men in particular thinking with their penis with their dick but let's just keep it real it doesn't matter what your gender is a lot of people think with their private parts a lot of people are horny and they are willing to forfeit their entire life to bust a nut that just needs to be said people are willing to do any and everything to get sex to have sex you know the person ain't about shit but you know what's hilarious people who typically have nothing to bring to the table are typically really good at sex has anybody else noticed that like these this is why you will see all these quote unquote highly successful educated women who end up with dust buckets because the dick is good let's just keep it real that's exactly why they're there okay same thing with these men who will, will will ruin their entire life, entire career, all for some pussy, all for, all for some booty. And this needs to be said. Y'all are willing to ruin your lives permanently for booty. And we see it time and time again. We see it time and time again. And now there's also allegations that... There's allegations that... Um, <laughs> she, Cardi B, was messing around with Takeoff and made a status on Twitter, a post on X, and referenced Takeoff and a potential alleged behind the scenes relationship and how he was the realest one on the team as far as the Migos. And this is why I say what I say. <laughs> you never know what's going on behind closed doors. Y'all can take all of these cute pictures and post on social media all you want. A lot of you are miserable. That's why you're making the posts because you're trying to save face. Also, a lot of y'all wanna constantly pressure people to get into relationships so they can be with miserable ass people i'm gonna keep saying this if you're not happy by yourself you're likely not going to be happy with another person and there's more to life than being in a relationship there's more to life than sex and a lot of y'all are constantly putting yourself in harm's way just to say you got somebody meanwhile they're embarrassing you you're embarrassing yourself and you both end up looking dumb. I'm out.